Hi, this is Tina Mesh. For my moving digital media tool, I chose to critique Screencast-O-Matic. I chose it for several reasons. Um, since discovering it a few weeks ago, I found that it was a really useful tool for both educators and students. I've had a lot of fun kind of playing around with it and seeing how I can utilize it in the classroom. And I've even introduced it to my students. And I'll discuss some of the ways that you can use that later in the presentation. Um, one of the neat things about it is that it's free and you can access it anywhere. I've been able to access it at home and at school and it's not blocked. I didn't have to download anything to my computer either, which I thought was a benefit. Um, I don't have to have an account to work it, but you can create one if you like. I did create one. Um, there are some benefits, um, but if you don't want to, it, that works also. There are free demos, as you can see right here, that can help get you started. Now next, I'm going to show you if you do choose to, you can get an Upgrade Pro account, which is $15 a year. And that isn't very expensive. Um, with that, you will be able to save more uh, screencasts that you did create right onto the website. Um, however, I have to say, personally, I haven't had to save any on the website. I have saved them either onto my computer or YouTube, and I'll discuss how to do that later. Um, I thought it was neat that it had resources to show how teachers and students are using it, along with even more how-tos with using Screencast-O-Matic. Here you can see um, what you get with the free feature, and that would be if you paid the $15 a year. It is a lot of extras you get, but I, I, again, I found it, I've been pretty satisfied with using the free version. When you're ready to make a screencast, all you need to do is go to screencastomatic.com and click Start Recording, and you're going to have this come up, and you can click either Alt-P, or you're going to use this down here. Um, the red button will be to start your recording. Now, before you can start recording, you do have to get them to detect your microphone. I've been using a headset microphone, and I found that it has worked really well. Um, so once your microphone's detected, you're ready to go. You can start your recording, and you're going to see a timeline on how long uh, your recording is lasting across the bottom. As soon as you're finished, you do have the option to save it to, on three different formats. And you can publish it right to Screencast-O-Matic, to YouTube, or to a video file. Um, I, as I said earlier, I like using these two options. I pretty much saved it as a video file to my computer. Then I also did it on YouTube because I knew that um, if someone might not have the same format that I saved it, YouTube was a better option because I knew people could easily access the internet and get it that way. The only uh, drawback for that, for me, regarding my job is me saving a screencast to YouTube isn't always accessible. We do sometimes have it blocked. Uh, fortunately, right now, we have been able to utilize it. When saving, you're going to get this screen. Um, and as I said earlier, you can save it to MP4 format. Um, it also gives you extra options here. And basically, just click Save Video. It doesn't take very long. And um, it, you can save it also in a FLV or an AVI format along with YouTube or Screencast-O-Matic. Now, um, some of the ways that I found this helpful, that could be helpful in the classroom, was you could do math problems on it. And you pretty much can uh, try to solve it for your students here in front of them. Um, and you can make the screencast of you solving it. Um, also, you could have them do problems and screencast it. And here, uh, I had two digit with regrouping, so you could actually sh visually show them how to do the regrouping on the screencast and then have them look at that at home or at school as an extra reinforcement. Another thing that I saw would be neat to use would be um, even just if you're doing some social studies and you need to point out different things on a map, you can screencast that. The kids can access it at home, maybe to study for a test. Or, again, I think it's really neat to have kids create their own screencasts, have them research and tell you about important things. 
I pretty much chose this because I, I like studying Egypt and currently my fourth graders are studying it. So overall, uh, screencasting um, has some really neat uh, options, especially increased screencast-o-matic. I think that it increases student engagement and achievement because it's hands-on. It combines direct and online er learning, so it's somewhat of a hybrid format. Uh, you can work collaboratively in groups to create a screencast. Um, I think if you are showing a screencast or having them create that, it actually will engage your students more, which creates more meaningful learning atmosphere. And um, it makes it really easy to access content for remediation. So overall, I would definitely recommend Screencast-O-Matic for both teacher and classroom use for students. Thanks. Hope you enjoyed.